going to be no full-on podcast episode because Chris and Preston are both sick. So I'm just by myself, and it's almost midnight at this point. It's 11.30, actually. Anyways, though, we're back with another episode. And today, we're going to be talking about the Red Hot Detroit Red Wings. And they have started off the season blazing, coming out of the gates. They are 5-1 and one right now through six games played. And they're looking like a team that made some moves in free agency Iserman did and now everybody was like oh like you know they overpaid for Justin Hall and you know yeah maybe they brought in Daniel Sprong but is their goaltending going to be good enough do they have enough depth and right now they're looking like a legitimate team and threat in the Eastern Conference I know we're only six games into the season almost a little under two weeks in but I want to take a look at this, this overreaction and the Brinkett ended up being the big splash move that the Red Wings made this past season and Listen, okay, this dude has eight goals in six games played and 12 total points. This dude is averaging almost two points a game. And then right below him is Dylan Larkin with three goals, eight assists for 11 points again in six games played. So, and uh, obviously Shane Goss' bear has six points in six games. And he has been a really great addition to this Detroit Red Wings blue line. And... And all the questions surrounding the Red Wings right now seem to be going out the window, and they have been playing great team hockey. They've been pretty much dominating any team they've played against. And, of course, after recording this video, they ended up winning earlier today, too, as well, against Calgary. So the Red Wings are beating every team and any team at this point, and they're looking like a team that could possibly do some damage in the Eastern Conference. And, I mean, yeah, they, there's some questions surrounding their goaltending with Billy Huso and James Reimer. How However, James Reimer is 2-0 with a 1 goals against average and a 963 save percentage. Huso has had a little bit of a tougher time here with a 3.04 goals against average and a 901 save percentage. But he's doing enough to get the job done to win games, right? I mean, that's all you ask for your goaltenders. Listen, if your top six or you just see your team up front in general and on the blue line are playing great team defense and they're scoring goals, as a goaltender, all you can do is just play as good as you can to win games right sometimes you don't need to be an elite goaltender sometimes you don't need to even be an average goaltender right? i mean average goaltending ten- is great you know but if you can just do enough to get wins that's all that matters in this league like you can put up these insane sets let's say you put up like a 930 save percentage whatever it goes against average of 1.94 but the team in front of you can't score guess what you're still gonna lose your team's still gonna lose and like that might not be a you problem however all you can do as a goalie is do enough to win games, and that's what the goaltending is doing right now. The Red Wings right now are looking at a team that they were doubted in the offseason. I, personally, I was one of them. So far, they've proven me wrong, which, you know, I'm glad to see that. I don't like doubting teams, but I was like, Iserman could be kind of overpaying for these guys, and maybe they don't have enough de- enough depth up front to do any damage and then I look at them and they're like all of a sudden starting off the season five and one looking like one of the best teams not only in the east but in the NHL as well it's just nice and if you're a Detroit Red Wings fan it must have been horrible seeing like all everybody on social media and the NHL analysts being like oh like can the Red Wings keep up with the Sabres and the Sens to be exact? And right now, the Red Wings are looking like a much better team than the Sabres and Sens, which the Sabres have started off slow and the Sens are starting off pretty decent as well, but obviously not as hot as the Red Wings. So if you guys are a Red Wings fan, I'm honestly glad for you guys. I know we're only six games in, but I mean, if you look at the roster up and down, you have 10 to 11 players with four plus points in six games. And if you do the math on that, that's what? 10, 11 players that end up getting 50, the six, more than 50 points, probably closer to 60 points on the season, which is absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, that pace isn't going to stay. However, the Red Wings are just playing out of their mind right now, and who knows? Maybe they can keep this up the entire season or it tempers off a little bit. But Detroit Red Wings fans, let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys expect the Wings to keep this up or not? And, of course, if you guys enjoy all of our content, all of our socials are down below as well as the subscribe button is as well. Of course, we'll see you guys in the next video.